So in the vendor section now, we're going to look at the best new vendor, the core vendors, which are robust solutions um, that have wide appeal, so they cover most of the functionality that a performance management system requires, and they've been tested. They're successful in the market. We're going to look at the overall customer satisfaction rating for each vendor, the reason their customers selected them over alternatives, which area of functionality got the highest rating for this vendor, budgeting, consolidation, reporting, dashboards, or analytics were the choices, and we'll end with the BPM Pulse Awards. When we look at the ratings, they're on a one to five scale. This gives you a sense of how we think about them, fair to good to very good to excellent outstanding. We color code it so that when we pull up the slides, you can quickly see what the rating is because at this point in the webcast, your eyes may be glazing over, so the color will just highlight for you uh, what to look at. And the overall rating, people sometimes ask me, that's actually entered. When they rate their vendor, they rate 15 attributes, and they rate their vendor overall. It's not a derived number. We don't mat mathematically derive it from all the detailed attribute ratings. So let's get started right away, and let's see who we've selected this year as best new vendor. And right out of the gate, that is Acteris. So Acteris is an Australian software vendor, uh, but they, they, they sell quite a bit around the world, particularly in North America. They fully leverage Microsoft technologies and provide dynamic planning. They support finance transformation. They also have consolidation. Uh, what's unique about them is they offer bi-directional integration with both Power BI and Excel, either of which can be used as a primary interface. So if you like to live and work in Power BI, it can do that. You can pull up data. You could also push back and write data from Power BI. They are very strong on integration. And now, Looking at the slides, since it's the first one time you're seeing the format this year, for each vendor we talk about specialized functionality they offer, complementary functionality, advanced, typically meaning AI functionality, what market they target, whether they offer an on-premise solution. Everybody in this list offers cloud, so the, the, the question is, do they also offer an on-premise alternative for that 22% or so that, that like that option? And these guys do, and do they have an app or solution library? At the bottom of the screen is the reason they were selected over alternatives, and integration was key, and that's obviously very important to everyone. And of the various functionality ratings, uh, which they get the highest rating for their customers, in fact, Terrace, it was budgeting and planning, as well as reporting, as well as dashboards. It was a tie. They like everything. They can't decide. And their, their rating overall, I probably should have started with that, an excellent 4.56. Now, we say they're a new vendor, and they are only being around a couple of years, but they have hundreds of customers already, hundreds. Now, some of them may be fairly small, as you would expect with a newer vendor, but some of them are actually quite large. Let's take a look at their screens just to give you an idea of what they look like. And don't worry, we only do this for the new vendors. We don't have time to look at screenshots for every vendor in here. But this is showing a driver-based planning screen. And you could you know, modify the drivers by, by dragging the line and pulling it up or down, and so it's going to modify that in the model. You could enter data at any level. There's a collaboration pane at the bottom. And then just give you a sense of what a dashboard looks like in this product, since that's a very important analytics component. Uh, this is one of their dashboards, their finance dashboard, and you get the sense of, of the look and feel and how the data is presented.